In this lesson, we're going to adapt our engine to support layered drawing and add some simple stationary objects to our game. The complete source code, along with the PNG file used for the tiles and sprites, as well as a written version of this tutorial, are all available on my website. We begin by creating a new enon style list that declares the different collision types objects can have. We simply have solid or not solid objects for now. We'll also create a list of example objects, specifying for each a name, the sprite to use from our tile sheet, the pixel XY offset from the top left of the tile the object is attached to, the object's collision type, and the z-index, or drawing layer, of the object. Each object will be drawn at the pixel coordinates of the top left of the tile on which it is placed, modified by the offset specified. This xy offset value can be negative. We'll also create a new class to store our map objects, called map object, which stores the map tile on which the object appears, and the object's type. For our map object class, we'll add a method to place the object at a specific tile position on our map. If the object has previously been placed, it first destroys the reference to itself at its current tile. We then set the new position properties of the object, and then attach the object to the specified tile. Now we'll modify our tile class by adding a property called object, which can store a reference to a map object if one is placed on this tile. We'll also add a levels property to our tile map class, which stores the number of layers to draw. For our example, we'll hardcode this as 4. In a proper map engine, you may wish to calculate this dynamically when loading in your list of object types you'll be using on your map. The character can move to method will also be changed. After checking the destination tile is traversable, we'll now test if the tile contains an object. If so, we'll check if the object's collision type is solid, in which case we'll return false, as the character cannot pass over this tile. In our Windows onload method, we are also going to create 10 example objects to show on our map, and place them near our player's starting position. Our last major changes are in the drawing method. Before our XY nested drawing loops, we'll begin an outer loop called Z, which will draw the different layers. We'll surround our floor tile drawing code with a test to see if the current Z layer is zero, and only draw floor tiles at this level. After our tile drawing code, we'll test the tile at the current XY position for an object. If one exists at this position, and its Z index is equal to the current Z loop value, we'll draw this object.
We'll also modify our roof drawing check to only draw roof tiles at a Z level of 2. Finally, we'll include our player character drawing code inside of the Z loop and only draw the player character on Z level 1. With these changes we can now place decorative and solid objects on our game map. This allows us to add a great deal more depth to the map than is achievable with just tiles. The layered drawing allows us to create new effects, such as tree canopies and objects that appear multi-layered. <laughs> 